As promised from my previous uh, video, this is the diorama that my friend Christopher has made. This is the Cobra Assault. And with me here is the creator of this diorama. This is Christopher. So, uh, Christopher, uh, why don't you tell us what figures you used here on your diorama? Um, actually, I made a figure because, because um, most of the time you see the Joes attacking the Cobra headquarters. So it's the other way around it now. It's Cobra attacking Joes headquarters. So it's Cobra attacking G.I. Joe headquarters. Yeah. So I used um, a dozen um, Cobra vipers as you can see outside. So, so you used uh, uh, how many Cobra vipers do you have it's here? A dozen. 12 Cobra Vipers. It's 12 Cobra Vipers, yes. Uh, with the Ali Viper as the commander. And the, uh, yeah. Tele Viper, is that correct? Oh. Alright. Um, we're looking at a massive, really massive figure. Can you give me the dimensions here, uh, Chris? Actually, the diorama. 26 inches in height. 26 inches in height. Yeah. 26 by 33 inches in width. 26 by 33. Yeah. That's but the height is 26 inches. The height is one huge 26 inches. What did you use for your hill over here? What materials do you use? Uh, in the first we use, uh, of course, uh, in all dioramas you have to use styrofoam to save on the cement. Right. And to save and to save on the load of the diorama because when you use entirely all cement it's gonna come out so heavy. Exactly. So the inside of this is made of styrofoam and after you get the form you want, that's the time you put in the plaster of Paris. Then well you can see the detail the comes in. Yes, the detail that you see here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is very very detailed as you can see the texture of each of the boulders and all the whatnot is very detailed I think the video does not do a lot of justice if you can see it for real how long did you make the diorama Chris? Uh, the diorama was made about almost two weeks Let two weeks? one week and four weeks all right All right, now tell me what we have. I see a communication center here with, what do we have? And that, that's an old snake eyes, I see. Yeah, that's an old snake eyes, an old, an old Lady J, which I repainted. The Lady J. Have a military law. Yeah, is that plane over there? Uh, that's plane, yeah. Yeah, that's plane. Then we have, as you can see, the custom uh, soldiers, which I also made. Where, where is in it? In their fatigue uniforms. Okay. Inside. Yeah, yeah. There's a hole that's supposedly being infiltrated by Cobra, is that correct? Yeah, that's the blast from the cannon outside. Blast from the cannon outside, and there's a, a dead uh, Joe inside there. Right, okay, now tell me about these, uh, this vehicle. This is the pit, I am assume, I'm assuming. No, that's the ROCC. Ah, this is the ROCC, correct. The ROCC. The, uh, the ROCC could uh, put slide this one down keep the airplane inside. Right. Then that's why this is the repair area of the ROCC. Okay. Hidden beneath the uh, Right. Again this is Christopher with his custom diorama. Alongside with the other uh, exhibitors here at the opening week of Rise of Cobra. And that's looking very good. Alright Chris, thank you so much. Okay, bye.